Today is Wednesday, August 23rd, and India Bharat is just hours away from making history. ISRO's ambitious moon missions is set to achieve a soft landing on the southern pole of the moon today. If successful, India will become the first country in the world to land in this lunar region. In this video, let me point out three crucial challenges that Chandrayaan-3 Vikram lander is going to face. The first challenge is to control the speed of the lander. In the previous attempt, the lander crashed due to excessive speed. The second challenge for the lander of Chandrayaan-3 is to maintain a straight trajectory during descent. And the third challenge for the lander is to land precisely at the chosen location selected by ISRO. In the past, Chandrayaan-2 crashed because it deviated from its designated landing site. If you look at why did Russia's Luna 25 crash, according to Russia space agency Roscosmos, Luna 25 was intended to be placed in the closest orbit around the moon, but it went out of control and deviated from that orbit. And this same problem could arise for India as well. When a country like Russia, which has no shortage of technological capabilities and resources, faces a situation where their spacecraft can go off course, even in the final orbit around the moon, it signifies that such challenges can potentially happen to anyone. Nevertheless, there is a famous saying, the name of the eater is written on a grain of rice. Likewise, if Luna 25 had not crashed, Russia could have become the first country to achieve this, either today or tomorrow. That means now it is India's turn. So these are the three significant challenges that India may encounter when Chandrayaan-3 attempts its landing later this evening. If ISRO successfully lands the Vikram lander and the rover Pragyan on the southern pole of the moon, the rover Pragyan will be deployed from it and it will explore an area of up to 500 meters. It will conduct experiments to analyze the lunar environment and report its finding to ISRO. Today, soon after landing, the Vikram lander will commence its mission. A day on the moon is equivalent to about 14 Earth days. Therefore, the Chandrayaan-3 mission will conduct research on the lunar surface for a duration of 14 days. I have a playlist dedicated to ISRO missions. In that, I have made videos on Chandrayaan-3 lunar mission and have explained everything about it in detail. If you are interested, then watch that. I will provide the link to that playlist at the top right corner. So, let's observe the developments in the evening and remain optimistic. I will provide further updates in a few days since we need to allow the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover some time to carry out their research and collect data. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.